Yes guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel and to today's video, which as you can see by the title, today's video, I'm gonna be going through my personal top five places to shop online. So if you guys are into the whole kind of like minimal streetwear aesthetic, I think you're gonna enjoy this one. Before we jump into it though, if you guys are a regular here, you'll know that I've been working on launching my own clothing brand for literally like over a year now. And today, right now, I've got some big, big news. So the first, I guess, announcement is the brand name. And honestly, guys, coming up with a name for your clothing brand is so much harder than you think. Like, it took me such a long time. But we're here, and I've got it. So the name of my clothing brand is going to be Studio Du Jour. Now, I'll put the Instagram handle on the screen for you guys right now. So please, 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 please go and give that Instagram a follow because I'm going to be giving a load of like sneak peeks of the first collection over the next couple of days. So please go and give it a follow. But yeah, guys, Studio Du Jour, I feel is a really kind of clean and minimal looking name, which honestly fits perfect with the overall kind of aesthetic of what the brand is going to be. And then guys, announcement number two, the big one is the launch date. And honestly, it's probably a lot sooner than you think because it's launching on the 31st of August at 7 p.m. UK time, which is literally a week on Tuesday, less than two weeks away. So everybody get it in your diary. I'm super excited to kind of see you guys styling the pieces. There's going to be worldwide shipping, so it's going to be available for everyone. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm so gassed. So yeah, those were my two big brand announcements. My next video, which will be on Thursday, will be like a full collection reveal where, you know, I'll go through all the pieces, I'll try them on, I'll show you guys how they fit, how I like to style them. So yeah, it's really exciting. Make sure that you watch my next video. Like I said, that will be on Thursday. But yeah, guys, on from that and on to today's video, which like I said, today I'm gonna be going through my top five places to shop online for minimal menswear pieces. Let's jump in. So the first online store that I wanna talk about is Olive Clothing. And honestly, guys, these hit that whole kind of like minimal aesthetic perfectly like everything from the cut of each garment to the tones is just beautiful i personally shop olive clothing more specifically for their legwear because they've got a great selection that i think really kind of gives off that whole studio nicholson vibe but of course at a more affordable price point so a couple of my favorite pieces from there would be the balloon canvas pants as well as the baseball chinos I'm honestly always styling both of these pieces. And to be honest, for me, Olive Clothing has the best legwear in the game that is under the £100 price point. There's also some really nice Bermuda style jackets and overshirts as well. So yeah, honestly guys, they've got a really nice selection. I just love the kind of Japanese aesthetic that Olive Clothing gives off. So yeah, honestly, it's an online store that I highly recommend. So next up, I couldn't talk about my favorite online stores for minimal menswear and not include COS. Honestly, COS really was the single retailer that kind of got me into this whole minimal contemporary aesthetic. I find with COS, they do tend to kind of experiment the most with their pieces, which is why it's a great place to find more I guess, unique standout garments as opposed to just your kind of standard basics. Even more so in the fall winter seasons, like they always have a beautiful selection of overshirts, jackets, overcoats, and just, I guess, outerwear in general, but always keeping it super unique with the cuts and tones of each piece. And to be fair, the price range isn't too bad either. It of course varies, but we're kind of, we're talking between like 20 pound, up to let's say like 150 to 160 pound but that of course is kind of dependent on the type of piece you know 20 pound we're talking like t-shirts 150 to 160 we're talking like more outerwear pieces all right guys so moving on to my third favorite retailer and that would have to be uniqlo now uniqlo is honestly 
perfect for affordable wardrobe basics. So if you're kind of looking to add to your wardrobe basics on a budget, then honestly, Uniqlo is perfect, especially the Uniqlo U collection, which kind of tends to be a little bit more unique with their silhouettes, but at a similar kind of affordable price point. When I'm shopping at Uniqlo, I personally always love their trench coats. So that is something to kind of definitely keep in mind, especially as the fall season approaches. I'm also a big fan of the selection of t-shirts as well, especially like the quality that they are in comparison to the price you pay. Like, honestly, you can't go wrong. My number one recommendation in terms of t-shirts would be the Uniqlo U oversized airism tee. I think it's something like £12.90 and like the fit is perfect. And then lastly, the single best part, in my opinion, about Uniqlo is their socks. Surprisingly, I get asked more than you probably think where I get my socks from and it is always, always Uniqlo. There's just a massive selection to choose from in every shade and tone that you can even think of, which to be honest is just perfect for this kind of like minimal aesthetic that we're trying to go for. All right guys, so the next retailer that we have on the list is Zara. Now, obviously Zara is a huge, huge retailer, which I'm pretty sure every single one of you guys will know about. But for me, Zara hasn't always been one of my go-to places. To be honest, I used to get quite disappointed most of the time when shopping there. However, recently, the tides are starting to turn and I'm starting to find some really, really nice pieces. For example, this textured knit shirt is a beautiful piece and I actually thought it was an amazing alternative to the infamous Aim Leon Dore Rico shirt, which due to, you know, the huge, huge hype, completely sold out. It definitely does kind of give off the same overall vibe with the textured fabric, the color, and the overall fit, but obviously coming in at a lot more of an affordable price point. I'm personally really looking forward to kind of seeing what they come out with in their fall slash winter collection. You know, I really hope that they drop like a nice boxy oversized overcoat in some nice kind of like earth tone colors. But yeah, I mean, I'm excited to see what they do. Now guys, the fifth and final online brand, or in this case, retailer that I wanna talk about is End Clothing. And with End, we're definitely kind of dipping into the slightly more streetwear side of the minimal contemporary scene. Well, to be honest, End has a huge variety of things. It's not just like the minimal aesthetic that I'm looking for. You also have brands such as Nike and Converse, etc., as well, but obviously, for me, I just tend to kind of focus on the brand that, that suit my aesthetic. So for me, it's going to be brands such as Cole Buxton, Ami Paris, um, Droll de Monsieur, Izzy Miyake, you know, just those kind of brands. And that's actually what I really do love about End Clothing. You know, they have this huge variety of brands all under one roof, which makes it so easy to kind of compare them against one another. But it's also great if, for example, let's say a Cole Buxton hoodie is sold out on their website, hop onto End, take a look on there because there's probably a good chance that it'll be in stock. So yeah, it's definitely a great kind of option and online retailer for, like I said, if you're looking for a place that has a huge variety of brands all under one roof. For me, End, End would be my go-to. But guys, that is my personal top five online stores for like minimal menswear pieces. Now do let me know in the comments section down below what kind of stores you guys would recommend for that same kind of aesthetic because I'm definitely open to trying out new places. But like I said before, honestly, I would really, really appreciate it if you could go and give my clothing brands Instagram a follow. It's linked in the description down below. The username is on the screen right now. So go and give that a follow. It's launching on the 31st of August at 7 p.m. UK time, worldwide shipping, which is gonna be a week on Tuesday. Honestly, I am so, so gassed. I think you guys are gonna love it. I hope you're excited. So go and give the Instagram a follow, guys. And like I said before, make sure you watch my next video, which will be on Thursday. It's a full, 
collection reveal. You know, I'll be going through all the pieces, going into much detail about the fabrics. I'll be showing you on bodies, how I like to style them. You will literally see everything. So make sure you watch my next video for that, which like I said, will be on Thursday. I should also have a kind of like behind the scenes vlog style video of the photo shoot and all that kind of stuff coming very, very soon, potentially Sunday, next Sunday. Um, so yeah, I've got a load of amazing videos coming. Obviously the launch of the brand a week on Tuesday. So yeah, really exciting times guys. And I just, again, I've said it before, but I just want to thank every single one of you guys for kind of supporting me and getting me into a position where I can kind of do this for a living. Like, yeah, thank you. But that's it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, as always, please give it a big thumbs up. Hit subscribe if you are new. Drop a comment down below. Go ahead and follow me on Instagram. It's basically a daily vlog. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.